So if a patient had a corneal scar that penetrated from the surface to deeper layers, that's a situation where we might need to do a full thickness cornea transplant or a disease process that affected um, the majority of uh, the cornea and the layers, then we'd have to use um, a full thickness tr uh, cornea transplant. But if it was solely isolated to that inner lining of the cornea, that's a situation where we do a partial thickness transplant like a DSAC or a DMAC. A DSAC or a DMAC um, probably takes anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes um, if it's done in isolation. Sometimes it's done in combination with cataract surgery or another procedure, but that alone would be maybe 20 to 40 minutes. Um, after the surgery, they'll have a patch on their eye uh, and we have them lie on their back with their face to the ceiling so that that air bubble is in the correct position. So there isn't a stitch holding that new graft, that new tissue into position. It's just the air bubble pushing it up, up against the undersurface of the cornea. So they have to position. They can briefly get up to go to the bathroom or get something to eat, but then they've got to go back down and be in that position overnight. So some patients, you know, may not love it that first evening um, just because they might not be back sleepers, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and then they come in the next day, we take the patch off the eye, we take a look, make certain that the graft is in good position. Depending upon which procedure, whether it's DMEC or DSEC they might have, sometimes we need to replace that air bubble um, because it does get reabsorbed by the eye and sometimes we need it to last a little bit longer or reposition the graft if it's moving out of position. That's fairly common, nothing patients should be concerned about that we do. Um, it's not a painful procedure, not a painful recovery, it shouldn't be. If it is, then we want to know about it. Very blurry initially because the patient still has that big air bubble in the eye, but then over several weeks to months, the vision clears up. So it's a very nice recovery, um, as I said, uh, particularly in comparison to a full thickness transplant.